For years on Labor Day weekend, any spectator can find themselves amongst thousands of drunken, thrill-seeking tubers trying to float their way to a good time. Surprised by many, this tradition stuck around for one more year. The Glen County Board of Supervisors voted in favor of the measure to prohibit drinking and open container possession during the holiday weekend. Although they did not receive majority vote, therefore the ban was not put into effect. The possible ban was causing quite a stir amongst fellow tubers. I do think that there is a possible like answer to the problem, like a solution, but I definitely don't think that that's the solution. Most students and officials seem to share the same views on this issue. I think one of the things that needs to happen is probably more of a dialogue between uh, public safety agencies such as fire departments, law enforcement, um, and then the AS, and as well as the students as well, to come up with a solution that's more, more palatable to everybody. I'm glad it didn't pass because I'm against it. Uh, so I think it made the float a lot more fun. And at the same time, I think it deterred a lot of people from coming. A few possible ideas and solutions are already being considered for next year's float. I think that there needs to be a dialogue. Um, I think that the agencies are willing to do that. I think there's, they're going to start doing something. So hopefully in the next, next nine months, the next two semesters, they'll be able to figure something out to address all the students and maybe have a roundtable where people can suggest ideas that would maybe scale the event back a little bit. It'd be better to just put like some people on Beer Can Beach, like a couple of cops on Beer Can Beach, than it would to just be like, let's knock this out and totally instead. Despite the controversy over the ban, many people still enjoy this weekend's festivities, 